Hi, this is Mrs. Wiederholt, and in this lesson video, we are going to learn about three polynomial operations. We will first look at addition, then subtraction, and then multiplication. Now let's get started. First, let's make sure we understand the difference between simplifying an expression and solving an equation. If you look at this example right here, there is no equal sign. So we do not have an equation. We simply have an expression. And so whenever you have an expression, you can use different polynomial, excuse me, different operations to simplify a polynomial expression. So we are going to simplify a polynomial uh, by performing the operations indicated and combining like terms. This is an example of adding polynomials. Now you might ask, how do I know it's an example of adding polynomials and not subtracting polynomials? Because I do see some minus signs here. And how we know if we are adding polynomials or subtracting them is by the symbol in the middle or in between the two expressions. So this one is considered adding the two expressions. So we're going to be adding the polynomials. Now, when adding polynomials, there's really only one step, and that is to combine your like terms. So I will first add my two x squared terms, 5x squared plus negative 3x squared, which would be 2x squared. Next, I'm going to look at my x terms. I have negative 4x plus positive x, so that will be negative 3x. And then finally, I'm going to look at the constants. I have positive 1 plus negative 3, and that will be negative 2, or minus 2. So as you can see, adding polynomials is very straightforward. Just make sure you are combining the like terms. Okay, so now let's move on to subtracting polynomials. Now when subtracting polynomials, there is a step you have to do before you can combine like terms, and that is to distribute the negative or minus sign to each term in the following polynomial. After you do that, you simply combine like terms. So let's look at our example. We have a trinomial, and we are subtracting another trinomial. We say the negative sign needs to be distributed to each term, in the second trinomial because what we're really doing here is we're saying minus x squared and minus positive 4x and minus negative 2. Well, if we know anything about our positives and negatives, when we subtract a positive number, we are simply subtracting it. So it would simply look like minus 4x. And when we are subtracting a negative number, when you minus a negative, that is the same as adding a number. So once you've distributed that negative sign, you're ready to combine like terms. And since I have shown you how to distribute the negative sign, I'm now going to rewrite it just so that it's easier for us to combine like terms. So here we go. We are going to find both of our x squared terms and we are going to combine them. We have 3x squared minus x squared and that will be 2x squared. And then we will look to see how many, have, how many of our variables have an exponent of 1 and we've got two of them. Negative 2x minus 4x and that will be minus 6x. And then finally we have two constants, positive 3 plus 2, which will be plus 5. So we have simplified this to 2x squared minus 6x plus 5. Now let's move on to multiplying polynomials. The first example we are going to look at is multiplying a monomial with a polynomial. And there's really only one step for that. We will distribute the outside term to each term inside the parentheses. So let's get started. We have 2x 
times 7x squared, so that will be 14x to the third power. And then we have 2x times negative 3x, so that will be a negative 6x squared. And then our third distribution will be 2x times positive 5, and that will be positive or plus 10x. And there you go. If at this point I had any like terms to combine, I would. But in this example, I don't. So now we're ready to move on and look at our next example. Here we're going to be multiplying two polynomials. In this example, I have a trinomial times a binomial. Now again, I basically only have one step, and that is to distribute each term in the first parentheses to each term in the second parentheses. So let's get started. I'm going to take x squared, and I'm going to multiply it times x, and I will get x to the third power. I will then also take x squared and multiply it times 4, and I will get positive 4x squared. Next, I will move to the middle term in the first parentheses. I will take 6x and multiply it times x, and I will get positive 6x squared. And then I will take 6x and multiply it times positive 4, and I will get positive or plus 24x. Now I'm ready to move to the third term in the first set of parentheses. I will take negative 2 and multiply it times x, and I will have negative 2x. And then I will take negative 2 and multiply it times positive 4, and I will get negative or minus 8. Now in this polynomial expression, I do have some like terms that need to be combined, so let's do that now. I'm first going to look and see, do I have any other exponents of 3? And as I look, I don't see any, so I'm just going to bring down x to the third power. Then I'm going to look for x squareds. And if I look right here, I have two x squared terms, so I'm going to combine them. Positive 4x squared plus 6x squared would be plus 10x squared. Next, I notice that I have two x terms. I have plus or positive 24x minus 2x, so that would be plus 22x. And then I have minus 8. And so if you, I'm going to check over this, and I see that I don't have any more like terms. So there, I have simplified this polynomial expression. Now most of what we have learned in this video should be review. The only exception is, is we haven't really worked with exponents higher than 2 before. But other than that, I hope this was just a good review video on how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. I look forward to working with you again. Bye-bye.